Hey guys, so I just installed the Flow Motion Sensor Kitchen Faucet. I was doing my kitchen and just installed it and I was a little disappointed because uh, the motion sensor didn't seem to be working. When I turned it on and off manually it worked, um, but the, the, the sensor didn't seem to work when I put my hand in front of it. Down below uh, where the box is here, <clears throat> you know, you've got your uh, all your hookups, you've got your batteries. I made sure I changed the batteries, the brand new batteries. I did everything according to the instructions, which can be a little bit uh, confusing. So one of the things is it was mentioning that if you turn the knob beneath the control box counterclockwise to the end as shown, uh, that would give you for manual operation. So I tried both, and that's, that's this right here. I tried both directions because the way the picture was showing, uh, it was actually showing it going clockwise, which didn't make any sense to me, but I think the picture was, was incorrect. So anyways, I tried both uh, options, uh, both ways, and it still only worked when I had it on manual. So uh, I started doing some research, and what I found out is one of the things besides you know checking the batteries and everything is one of the things that might work for you and it worked for me is the data connection here they, I think they call it a data line or data connection it's the uh, where the wires are if you disconnect that for at least 30 seconds and reconnect it and this is after the batteries are already installed and reconnect it now at first it didn't work for me because I was trying to follow the way they had the, the picture but then I, uh, I switched it over and, and turned it um, uh, clockwise, and, uh, and then I tried it, and, and it worked. So I'll show you, and it works really good. So you, you have to have, obviously you have to have this on a little, you can actually turn it off. It, I, it's, it works better than I thought, actually, because it's not super sensitive when you're doing stuff. But um, you have to have it turned on a little bit. So before, I mean, I would turn it on, it would automatically go on, but it was no, nothing to shut it off. So you set it to the temperature you want, you set it how far on or off you want, how much, you know, water to be flowing, and then the rest is just one, and on, and off. And it's not like overly sensitive. So originally, when I got this, I was mostly thinking of, oh, this is great, the kids don't have to, nobody has to uh, touch the handle when washing their hands. But what I never thought uh, the convenience is when you're washing dishes, and you're doing dishes and you're putting soap on, you're, you're doing whatever, or, you know, when you're putting soap, you don't want to put some soap on and wash it. You don't want the water running, and then put the water on as you're rinsing it, get all the soap off. Okay, I'm done with that one. Gotta go to other dishes. Turn it off. I don't have to keep, I don't, you know, when you got gloves and soap, you don't ever have to touch the handle. And you're just doing whatever and on and off. I mean, and it's not overly sensitive. The only thing was, um, when I went to clean, like, uh, I just put this new countertop on when I went to, dry things off or clean and I forgot it was there my arm was underneath and, and I got my arm my shirt wet but other than that I hope this helps I, I hope um, I hope it works for you and hopefully uh, by unplug either checking the batteries or unplugging the data line and replugging it I hope that really helps and again you do have to still have the water on what they do recommend is when you're you know going to be gone for long periods of time or maybe overnight or whatever you would just uh, turn the water um, off. Make sure it's off so now it wouldn't even be able to turn on. I think when you would go like it wouldn't turn on. So now I just put it to the amount I want. And it's back on again. And back on. It's not overly sensitive which is good. You don't want to turn on for every little thing. You really got to get in front of it to get it to go on. Well, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Please to, uh, subscribe to Discover with Dave.